get to see a critical part today. <laughs> What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? Oh, there is a snack for critical pop. Admiral, broadside salute. Love you, Brandon. Welcome to the Own Kiwis, everyone. <laughs> Just start all on in there. Um, I wanted to do this last week and we didn't have a show. We love you, Brandon. Congratulations to you and Manny, Mr. and Mrs. Broadside, uh, BJ Box Mods. Yeah. We love you, honey. And um, yeah, I'm rocking my Admiral today. Uh, Showing you the love, showing you the love. Welcome to Sunday, everybody. Welcome to another episode of The Um Kiwis, coming at you from good old little NZ at the bottom of the world. Hope everybody is wonderful today. We've got a sunny day today. Today, how are you doing, Minx? Is it sunny up there today? Yeah, it actually is. <laughs> it's wow. Nice. I mean, it was funny because it was we raining had rain overnight, <laughs> and it was like, oh, it's going to be crap today. And then it's like, get up, get ready to come to work. And it's like, hang on a minute, it's sunny out. <laughs> it's like, I'll take my jacket with me anyway, just in case. But I didn't wear it. Just in case. Oh, I really got snack crackle pop down on over here. It's all right. It's all right. I just have enough. Vaped on the old Limitless for a few days, so. Hope everybody's wonderful. It's Sunday in New Zealand here. Probably a very, very late Saturday night if you're elsewhere in the world or coming into a very, very early Sunday morning. Hope it's been a uh, good weekend, no matter where you may have been. How has the weekend been for you, Megan? It's been a little bit more chill than your week. Oh, I saw that yawn. I see you. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. That's why we're a little bit late. We just had to amp the energy up, guys. Had to try and stop Megan from falling asleep. <laughs> yeah. Weekend's been a rather interesting one. Um, I'll definitely, definitely say that. Um, you yeah, know. No, we're supposed to be like an entertainment channel, you know, providing a bit of entertainment and fun and all of that sort of stuff. We don't need days of our lives. <laughs> <laughs> don't need that. No, no, we don't. No, it's all good. Like hours through um, the hourglass. So are the days was, of our I lives. Thinking, I was just thinking that. Yes. <laughs> right, well, we've got something a little bit new coming at you tonight, um, fam. Yes. I was going to go with ladies and then I went, hang on, there's some males out there too. Fam. <laughs> fam. <laughs> um, um. Yeah, we're doing something a little bit different tonight, Megan. Have you heard of Liqua juices before? I, I don't quite know if I'm saying that right. Liqua is how I'm going with it. Liqua. <laughs> um, I have. Liqua. Um, when I first started vaping, they, they were one of the, I guess, like the bigger juice names around at the time. and They've been around a long time, eh? Yeah. And, well, I mean, it's like I've only tried like a couple of flavors and they weren't quite my cup of tea if you know what I mean which is hilarious considering that one of the flavors that we have is a tea <laughs> we have a cup of tea to try tonight guys that is funny that you said that um I haven't tried any of the liqua flavors um anywhere on the line they have many out there they have been out there for years um I'm not going to put a date on it because I don't know exactly how long but like like the entire time, both Megan and I have both been vaping. This brand has been around across the globe. However, I hope to dispel a couple of uh, discrepancies around this juice tonight. I hope. Um, done a little bit of research, had a chat with our peeps here who are NZ Lequa stockists, and they're not the only vendor. HB, Hawks Bay Vapor are who we are ripping tonight, um, but they aren't the only stockists of this brand. This is one on a few shelves out there. However, I believe they are one of the most full stocked, uh, as in I'm not sure if it's the whole range that they have, but they have a very large range of um, liqueur flavours, liqueur. 
Um, <laughs> I'm going to play with that word all night. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I don't know if it's the entire range available out there across the globe that they have in stock across their stores, but a damn decent amount of it if it ain't the whole lot. And the, these three flavours that we're going to be trying tonight and tasting for y'all are brand new to NZ. They have just been launched globally. They've just been launched here in NZ. They, what's the date today? They were released three days ago here in NZ. So there's... Um, Although the brand may not be new, there's three new flavors to the existing line out there. And, of course, as we know, with any brand that's been around a while, juice progresses. I mean, uh, Megs and I experienced that firsthand with tasting um, Vape Canyon a year from tasting to tasting and felt, tasted, saw all of the things, smelt all of the things, the progression and the juices. So... I haven't tasted anything to know a uh, progression of this brand prior, but Megan has. So, you know, even she might go, hey, there's progression, or eh, it's still in that same quality range. We don't know. We haven't tried them yet. Mm. But we're going to tell you guys all about it as we taste them tonight. And, of course, hang out in a wee while. We will be doing the winner for Deep South Resistance giveaway that we uh, put on the show on our last episode a couple of weeks back. However, since that last show that we did, that last episode, Deep South Resistance have, due to illness, unfortunately, for the time being, shut their doors. Warren is hoping to come back after health has improved. Um, so the winner of tonight's prize is a very lucky person indeed because Deep South Resistance right now in New Zealand is in very, 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 very limited stock, as in you can only get what is on the shelves in the existing stores right now. That's all that it's available. So Warren is yes. holding true to sending out this prize. Yeah, he's holding true to sending out this prize. So big loves to Warren. Big loves to Warren. And we hope you just soon, honey, or um, whatever the scenario of health, I just know this illness uh, is going on for you that has um, made you have to shut the doors for the time being. I hope all of that progresses. We're sending you, yeah, big, big hugs and loves. We will be announcing that winner very shortly. So that is going to be a very lucky person indeed to get that prize. But back to HB. Oh, actually, hang on. There's a few people strolled in. Should we say hi to some folks, Mix? Sure. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> hi. Come on, I'm trying to get you talking. Come on, say hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> oh, that's right. Cheers for that, Nick. I just saw a comment out in chat. A reminder, I will mention that shortly. Uh, as we get a little bit closer to the time, dear Nicholas. All right, fam, I see a few of you have strolled in. Remember, if you want to holler out there in the recorded in the video and the replay, then put your little digits out there in live chat and your name will pop up and we can say hello. So big love's going out there to Mr. Elmo. Nick's in the house. Hey, Mr. Freshy's hanging out. Hey, Fresh. Hey. Hey, darling, we haven't seen you in ages. Mwah! Big loves, honey. Um, wow, late Saturday night for you, honey. Uh, Miss Jen Wig is in the house. Hello, doll. How you doing? Oh, we got Miss Christchurch Joe hanging out today. Hey, Miss Joe. Lots of dolls chilling. Mr. Kenny B in the house. What's up, Kenny? Another one of our dolls chilling. Oh, we're we're live in the Vape Crew Christchurch shop up on the big TV screen right now, Mix. Nomi has got us playing on screen. Love you, gnomes. Love gnomes. Yeah, we're live in the shop <laughs> right now. And I did see a couple other names. <laughs> you know, start pulling faces now. What's up, going out to Mr. Dave Bryson? Hello, hello. How you doing? Have you been here for a while, honey? And who else did I see? Miss Alexis. Hello, doll. And Mr. Aaron Bed is in the house. What's up? Hey, there's Jin Jin. Hi, Jin. All the dolls hanging out. How you doing, darlings? All right. Has anybody <laughs> else got a name? You want to holler? Oops, scrolly, scrolly. Hello. And, of course, can't forget you. I do some weeks, but I'm not today. Hi, Lakers. <laughs> hey. Hi, Lakers. Maxie! Hey, sup, doll? Miss Maxie just strolled on in. Miss your face, Maxie. 
Get your Admiral out, Maxi. We're giving the loves out to Brandon today. Actually, we're giving loves out to lots of people today. We say, uh, like about... Maxi uses nothing but her Admiral. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> it's not like a redundant statement. Like, put that mod down, pick up that one, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't used my Admiral in a few weeks, so I fully had to get mine out and give her a wee. Scrub a rub. It's not polished. It's just clean. Scrub a rub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, it's clean. All right, darling. So we are going to yeah taste liquor juices today. Now, all right. I'll let's start with some of the discrepancies that I know about this brand, and I want to say this straight off because, like I say, it's a brand that's been around for a few years now. Now, Megan. Yes. I know. You, just as well as many, 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 many others out there, mm. are of belief that this juice was Italian. Yeah. I don't know. It was just something about how it was advertised um, at the time. It sort of gave the impression that it might have been an Italian-made juice. <sighs> I'm, I'm, I'm really I'm going to end up fussing about my hair because I need a haircut. Don't fuss. You're fine. Don't fuss. Love's going out to Brendan. Sit next to Miss Jo. Hi, darling. Right. Okay. Now, the reason why I brought that up is because the name leads to it leaning towards an Italian feel also, doesn't it? You can't. Yeah. 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 There's a reason I bring this up. I know many people think this is an Italian juice. Guess what? I'm going to burst your bubble, guys. It is made, manufactured in China. It's a Chinese juice. However, globally, it's one of the better Chinese juices. Now, of course, like I said, I haven't tried this particular brand. I'm just going off the general review word across the globe. Um, the difference with this and why people think it's Italian and course its name leaning to such it's made from premium italian concentrates so liqueur which i'm guessing in italian means liquid i i don't know that someone someone correct me if they know otherwise i the total stab in the dark there um but yeah the little the bit of research that i read up on it it is they are Italian premium concentrates made and manufactured in China and distributed distributed from China. Um, and there's nothing wrong with any of that. Nothing wrong with it. Just want to be clearful facts for people who have often wondered about, hey, is that Chinese? I heard it was Italian. You know, those conversations that go around when you're hanging out with your mates. You're gonna you're reading the box. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> So that's that's the wee little hey bursty bubble that I wanted to throw out there. It's a Chinese juice, guys. It's just made with premium concentrates. I don't know why I did quotations. The reality is we don't actually know, do we? It, but they're Italian concentrates that I do know that I can confirm. So the lovely HB have sent us these samples to try for you today to give you our thoughts on the new three new flavors, the new launch. I'm not sure if it's a new line per se because they sort of fit into other categories that they already have on their line. So I'm just guessing they're new flavors. So, um, oh, there they are. There they are. I'm, I'm just, I've got a bottle in my hand. I've already pulled them out of the boxes. I haven't cracked the seals though. So um, I do like the new look boxes. The packaging is very slick. Uh, compared to some of the older look boxes. Now, if you've been in Vapor for a wee while, you may have seen those older look boxes around the, the shelf. The little white boxes. Yeah, don't have one here to compare, but the progression and packaging has definitely come a long way. And as you could see from the box, the bottle is essentially the same imagery. Oh, apologies, my autofocus isn't on. Um, the bottle is essentially the same energy imagery, so it's not a uh, children eye attracting i'm not quite sure how to say that sentence but you know it's not aimed at the kiddies is, is my point of that um and i and i like that they may have progressed but they haven't progressed too far you know uh so megs should we uh try one of these babies sure 
Actually, <laughs> buy one of these babies. Hang on. Okay. Just... So the first oh. one I guess we're going to give a try is Frosty Lychee. Come on, autofocus. Shamo. There we go. Just catching up on chat. <clears throat> Frosty lychee. Now, you guys know I'm not too big of a fan of lychee, so I'm quite willing to try it. It smells all right. It's a pink lychee, apparently. So Yeah, so the, the description that? that it's got on the side of the box mm. here, it says, uh, dream about the pink fruity lychee. It's natural cooling taste and slight honey undertone. Yes, your dreams will all come true with the unforgettable fresh and juicy flavour. Okay, so we've got a pink lychee with a honey undertone. I'm not... What am I going to vape I, this on? Uh, I'm not feeling horrified by trying to... Oh! Eyelash in the eye! Don't need... I don't need that. i got mascara on. Oh. Okay, just sorry. Just having an eye makeup emergency. <laughs> Of course, thank you, Maxine, Miss Dole out there in chat. Um, all of the links for today are down in today's description of the episode. We have their main website. I've also got um, a location uh, URL there in the in the section down there for um, in the description for HB. But, now, there's a reason why I put the location URL in there. Um, that link shows you about seven shops, Megan. Michael's got seven shops now. Seven. Oh, it's crazy. I didn't mm. even know he had that many until just the other day. I thought he no, was because all I was five. thinking like it was like okay, yeah. yeah, there was Napier, Hastings, uh, Palmerston North, and Levin. Like I knew about those ones. Yeah, that, that's about what I knew about too. But we have some others, and I, we'll go through those locations and where the nearest HB store to you is shortly as well. Mm. Um, so also down in the description is the fa main Facebook page. And the reason why I say main is because there is a Facebook page for almost every one of those seven individual shops as well. So the main Straight Up Hawks Bay Vapor Facebook page is the main one for all of them. And then in the description also I've got another link just below that. And it's a Facebook link to, it says photos uh, in the URL, but it's a post that was done um, on Friday. So, yeah, a couple of days ago. This post, take note, that URL down in that description, you'll need that in a little while. I'll come back to that. I'm going to hold you on that tease. There's a reason that link's there. All right, guys, dripping it up, dripping it up. So a pink lychee with a honey undertone. See, I'm just seeing like in the chat there. It's like Kenny B's like, ooh, lychee. <laughs> I'm, I'm the same about rock melon or cantaloupe. Um, not everyone's a fan of lychee. It is quite an odd fruit. You mm. either love it or you don't. As a food, I'm not a lychee fan. I have, over the last couple of years, Megan and I have both tasted juices that are not to our personal palate. Um, however, that's not the point of our tastings, is it? We do tastings for you guys so that you, the consumer, can compare the profile provided by the vendor to our thoughts on how they taste, is that profile true? Are you receiving what you think you are purchasing? That's why we call it the tasting. It's not a review because we are doing a comparison to how you believe that product you've just purchased should taste. Are you hitting it already, Megan? No. Is that your, I'm is that waiting. your other one? No, I'm just vaping on Blue Rain at the minute. With oh, okay. Voodoo Blue. <laughs> Blurple Rain with Voodoo Blue. That's yes. such a beautiful combo. All right. I really like uh, Voodoo Blue. It's so good. I know you do. And what setup will you be tasting on this evening, Dylan? Set up, set ups. Well, for the Frosty Lychee, I will be using my Hustler in the recoil. I haven't seen you use the red call in a while. I pop it out every now. I think the last tasting that we did, the DSR one, 
I used the oh, Rink one. My bad. My, that was a couple of weeks back now. Mm. Right, and for the Lachi, I have put my Bow Bonza. Bow Bonza. My yeah, my Rainbow Bonza. Onto my wee little Pico. So I'm mini. I really need new mods. All my mods are dying. I'm running out of decent guys. All righty, let's hit this. So. It's an in it's interesting fruity scent it to it. It smells, it's sweet. Um, yeah. It smells like lychee, but it's not quite. Like, to me, the scent is pink lychee. Now, and, and I say it like that because uh, those of you that know grapefruit, the scent and tastes of grapefruit, and then we've got pink grapefruit and the scent and tastes of pink, pink grapefruit and the differences between that. That's sort of what I'm getting off this, just off the smell, it, it's, it smells pink lychee, not standard white lychee. I, there's no other way to say it. It just smells the pink one. All right, Megan, let's hit this. <laughs> let's hit this. Whoa! <laughs> we both did it! God damn! <clears throat> it's got some colada on it, guys. <clears throat> Frosty indeed! <laughs> um that wasn't bad. That just both gave us a fright, I think. <laughs> It wasn't, there wasn't a bad reaction whatsoever. That was, <coughs> oh, oh, man, <coughs> indeed. Whoa. Maybe, maybe we need to turn the wattage down here. <clears throat> that, <coughs> this is definitely one you want to find that right wattage for so that you're not doing that coffee. <coughs> um, I, I like colada. This is, this is a refreshing colada. Like, I've literally had one vape. I feel like I just brushed my teeth, but not menthol. This is not a menthol. <laughs> just want to be clear on that. Do you, do you agree with that? <laughs> like, call out a non menthol? Um, yeah, yeah. I'm just still laughing at the fact that we both reacted the same. <laughs> and chat's laughing <laughs> that, they, that we died. <laughs> Has that ever happened to us on a flavor before? <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Oh, <clears throat> Okay. There was a punch to the back of the throat. <laughs> That's a fucking punch. Not a bad mm. punch. Like, it's just pow. It's there. That is a frosty pink line chain, guys. Okay, so I've had I've had two vapes. I feel like I've brushed my teeth totally. <sighs> I'm refreshed. So I've got sweetness in my mouth. There's a nice little Sweetness aftertaste. Okay, so the cool is the right pow in your face on that inhale, obviously. The sweetness, the pink comes in, rolls around your tongue, and then it's the whole mouthful on the way out. And, okay, I am not a food lychee fan. This does not taste like lychee. This tastes different to its scent. To me, to me, I, I we haven't heard Meg's thoughts yet. Tastes like lollies, like a cool lolly because of that sweetness that's in there. I get, I get a nice on the on my tongue on the aftertaste, like I I, I taste pink. I'm tasting pink more than lychee. What's the pink? <laughs> All right, give me. Get, what's your thoughts, Megan? I'm babbling. How do I even describe this? It's really sweet. It's possibly not a cool lighter, but I just wanted to emphasize it's not a menthol. It's one of those cooling, frosty type concentrates, though. That's what I was going with that. Uh, just responding to a comment on the chat. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Your thoughts. Okay, is it coming across lychee to you? Is it smacking you in the face with a lychee? Yeah, I'm definitely getting like, I mean, it's not like your usual, like you talk about, like the white lychee. It's definitely not that. <clears throat> it's a really, really, really refreshing mm. because of like that cooling effect that, it's, like, that it has. 
<clears throat> um. Oh, it clears the sinuses. I know. I, that's why I'm doing the deep breaths. So it's like, <gasps> I, I actually really like that. This is a good one. It's coming down with the winter snuffles. I think this one would keep you clear. Keep the throat clear. Keep the nose clear. I like it. The one that <laughs> I would taste the most, and no offence to HB, because we, we, unless a vendor asks, Megs and I don't tell them what we don't like because that's not what these tastings are about. And not many vendors ever do ask. Like it was very rare with DSR that we got to pick flavours that we wanted to try off the line sort of thing. Mm. So I, I honestly thought I was going to hate this. I don't. I don't like lychee as a food. I'm not going to go and turn around and eat it. But this pink frosty lychee as a vape, totally doable and sweet like it, i want to put it in the it's in the frosty candy almost i like it megan i'm very surprised that you like it <laughs> so the fuck am i like don't be fooled out there in youtube land for real reaction going on here <laughs> i i'm now, this isn't a surprise me like, oh, my God, I fucking love it. This is a I don't hate it. I would totally vape this if I need my sinuses clearing. Or if this is just, a, you know, that cool, fresh, a really refreshing vape is what you want. Totally in the market. Do you like it, Megan? Or is it just interesting? Is it different? It's, it's interesting because it's different. Um. I don't know, I need to vape on it a little bit more to see how I how I go with it. Because I know I'm a really fussy vapor. Really fussy. So fussy. <laughs> I have no doubt on your expertise, dear Fresh. You're coming out in chat. Um, yeah, no doubt on your expertise, honey. Uh, Fresh just said if it's premium Italian flavors, i.e. Flavor Art, which is a brand that does concentrates, uh, they probably loaded it with a concentrate called Polar Blast, which is a variant to the one we know as Coolada. Um, the way I'm being blasted in the back of the throat, Fresh, I'd say so. <laughs> it's loaded with that Polar Blast because you saw it, but Megs and I like, pow! <laughs> <laughs> It was quite the surprise. <laughs> okay. That was a good cloud. And on that note, just wanted to clarify another something that people may or may know may or may not know about Le Quoi. <laughs> Le Quoi. <laughs> um so all Le Quoi juices over twelve mig, so the higher mic, the mouth and lung devices, the the heavy X smokers or the transitioning smokers, um, all of those are a 50-50 blend in the VGPG. These being zero for our tasting, so all of the juices manufactured under 12 mig are a, what is that, 65-35. I, I had 65 in my head and then went, i got to do some math, 65-35. <laughs> Uh, to the VG, to the VG. So 65 VG, 35 PG, under 12 mig. But the, and it's just like a default. So if it's under 12, it's this. If it's over 12 mig nicotine, it's it's the 50-50 blend. So we are trying, tasting the 65-35 blend today in zero mig, of course. Um, I, yeah. If you like the cool, refreshing vapes, if you like... A bit of fruit if you like a bit of sweet with your fruit this is totally gonna rock your world and i say that with the most epic emphasis on that polar blast but in saying that the polar blast didn't take away from the flavor though did it megan no it was still very much there it was just trying to recover from the fact that you had this pow happen <laughs> it was 
totes pal totes pal oh v-dog just strolling in what's up vince and just while i've paused big hollers and love going out to that white guy who's also strolled in and who else did i see zulu what's up zulu's zulu not quite sure on your screen name hun welcome welcome anyway and um, missed anybody else i think that's everybody of course those lurkers are out there lurking good to see you vince been a while um so, in all honesty, pink lychee, frosty lychee, sorry, um, it should be called frosty pink lychee, but frosty lychee, hang on, let's just, that sweetness, I just realised, I just did a click light bulb moment, that sweetness, that aftertaste is sitting there in the mouth, that's the honey, the honey undertone. Hmm. It's just coming through initially as sweet and I suddenly like licking my lips just then like did a light bulb. That's honey. Yeah, the cool, the pink, the pink, the lychee, <laughs> the pink lychee comes in there in that middle layer. Yeah, it rolls together. It's a big ball of frosty exhale. And that sweetness that's sitting there is that honey undertone. I like it. Fucking wow. <laughs> and that's just fucking wow because it's lychee. <clears throat> I'm impressed. Good on you, China. <laughs> Good on you, China. I like that. Yeah, Megs. Wow. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just, just, uh, just be speechless for a sec. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have to we say were, I was uh, very surprised by it. Um, I mean, other than the fact that, yes, we reacted so violently <laughs> <clears throat> um, off that first hit. But, yeah. Not a I bad think, little flavour there. I don't think that was a bad reaction. I just think that was a... It was su surprise. Wow. We yeah. got blasted with that polar blast. Um, <sighs> totally felt like I've just brushed my toe. <laughs> <laughs> totally do. I really like that. Well done, China. Um, yeah, so if, if the, the cool, refreshing vapes, a little bit of fruit, a little bit of sweetness in there, if that sounds like your jam, just want to roll, eh? Like Frosty Lychee, HB Vapor, any of those stores across the country. Autofocus. I don't think it's on. My autofocus is annoying. Is the bottle that's a nice weird little cute cutie mail and yeah that's glass glass dropper I haven't seen one of them in a wee while to be honest <coughs> yeah um i'm i'm oh, lost my mouse i i'm i'm a little surprised megan I, i'm fucking surprised i'm way surprised i'm i'm wow 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 you're starting to question your taste buds <laughs> I so am. <laughs> no, like, no, I'm not going to go over there and eat a lychee and question my taste buds with the food. And yeah, no, no. However, this will be a vape that I pick up again. And that will be the one. Are you vaping on mocks? Just rocking some lychee. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, sorry, there's been a statement out in chat. I'm just, no, I have no, I have no untoward sense in the air, fresh. <laughs> uh, how about yourself there, Megan? Do you see that coming? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't have that scent in the air. <laughs> hey, what's up, Mitch? And you W, how you doing, buddy? Fuck. Haven't seen you in ages. Oh, oh Maxie. Sweden, mate. How is Sweden, mate? Haven't seen you in a while. <clears throat> Give us a try, girls. I want to be blasted too. Yeah, mate, you will be blasted. You like your cool vapes too, Maxie. You will fucking dig this. If you don't have <laughs> Her mind is in the gutter right now. <laughs> 
blast away, baby. <coughs> blast away. Oh, my God. Maxie, actually, I think you'll dig that because you like cool vapes. Fuck yeah. All right. Oh. You ready for the next time, Megan? Oh, no, oh, the yeah. next one you- is yeah. ice cream mango. Oh. Come on, focus. Oh, which, where am I going with this? Oh, I'm going to swap mods for this guy. It's not focusing. It's not focusing. That says ice cream mango, everybody. It does, honestly. It's focusing on the coffee table behind you. <laughs> hey, Shakira. Welcome, welcome, honey. Dole in the house. All right. I'm not going to put Give this one day. in. Crack in the seal. I might put it on my new one. That one didn't make a refreshing crack. I like it when they do the refreshing crack sound on the seal. And Ooh, mine did. There's a, not sure if you noticed it, Megan. I thought initially these were black bottles. They're not actually black bottles. They have a black tint to the bottle, but they, I can actually see through them. They're clear. Sorry, I just spotted that. Learning things as we go. <laughs> All right. The old glass dropper. This is so novel now, having a, the old glass dropper. Not the only people. issue with like the droppers is that they're not horribly convenient. No, you can't just chuck a glass bottle in your handbag and rock on. And my other complaint, just side learning, um, on the old oh, glass mango dro- smells so good. Oh, she's liking it already. She hasn't even hit it yet. Uh, the other inconvenient thing on a, on the old glass dropper is um the nib. It's quite either quite bulbous or just generally wide with you know the droppy part and doesn't fit into said slots of like your limitless or um a combo or something, you know, the RDTA. For me, that that's what I find. Other people might do it just fine, but I find it quite awkward to try and work with the glass in there. And I'm always worried about I'm gonna snap the tip or something in the edge of my RDTA slot on the fill slot. But that's just me own little whinge about it. <laughs> mm. All right. Um, so for this flavor, mm-hmm. um, oh, I'll read the description. If you are a mango lover, you must try this juicy green mango with yellow flesh. You will experience the cooling, refreshing taste of the hot tropics. And for that flavor, I decided to put it on my VT two hundred with my my new RDA. I got the Twister Messes twenty four Pro. Yeah. So lucky, actually. Hang on, hang on. Mm-hmm. The Twister Messes twenty four Pro. What's the deck look like? Chassis deck. I know it's messy. I know you just juiced. I know it's probably not your flashes, well, but I just want to see the deck. Oh my god! I'm not really Hold it. See it. Great face. We um. It's blue. Blue posts. Blue screws. Oh. And the very inside. Oh, it's a hot deck, though. Cool. Yeah, and the post holes are massive. I was just gonna say those are post posts. Those aren't clamps or nothing, are they? Those no. are just like straight. Team styles. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. But like the inside of it, I mean, it's like, yeah, we've got like that, I've got the blue one, but on kind of, you can't quite see, but just in between like the top of the top cap and the little cog shape, it kind of has like a rainbow um, kind of look to it. And that sort of also is like in the very inside of the, um, of the build deck, um, it's kind of a rainbowy, purpley colour. It's quite cool. It's very cool. Yay. Okay, darling. <clears throat> so a green mango with yellow flesh. Again with some cooling. So expect it this time. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I just I just spotted that and then described it. I'm just putting it in my head. Right. Green mango, yellow flesh. Interesting. All right. Are we going to get polar blasted again? Smells lovely. Smells like freshly cut mango. Yeah. Right. Let's go, girl. (laughs) 
Damn it! Uh, uh, I expected it that time. I tried to take like a sort of you know a slow draw on it, and it's like ah oh, no. What <laughs> wanted you had? What what did you God hit damn it. it? You have to turn that down. I got mine on eighty. Okay, I'll do the same. Oh, forgot to tell you guys, I swapped across to my hustler with Zepilus. My bling bling going on for the old mango. Right. Again, that fresh polar blast, bam, there it is on that inhale. This is a lovely fruity vape. I'm yum. Um not too sweet. Like, I swear there is a fresh cut mango in a bowl right in front of me now that I am smelling, tasting. <clears throat> no added sugar. And it's been chilled. And it's been chilled. And it is exactly what the profile says it is. I am tasting green mango, yellow flesh. Now, I don't know if any of you guys specifically out here in New Zealand or even actually anywhere in the world, I don't know if you've tried multiple types of mango, just like with the pink lychee, normal lychee, you know, multiple types of each different fruit that are out there around the world. Um, I happen to have tried a couple of different types of mango, like a really red one and a green mango. Um, no, don't just say one's right, one's not. I heard you. They were actually two different species of mango, uh, two different strains rather. Um, so, yeah, I, this green mango with the yellow ripe, perfectly ripe yellow flesh, like natural sugar <coughs> going on. This is a natural flavor extraction. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> um. Yum. Your thoughts, Megan? I, I'm, I can go deeper into this. What are you thinking about it? Just trying to compose myself. How's your throat going? You all right? <sighs> have, have, you, have you had some water? I have had some water. <laughs> um, no, it's a really, really good mango flavor. <clears throat> Definitely one of the better mango flavors that I've tried. Like, um... I mean, I haven't tried a lot of mango flavors, but from the few that I have tried, it's definitely the better one. Um, I'm actually very tempted to get Sarah to try it. Let's see what she thinks, because she likes mangoes. Magnus. Fresh, fresh asked uh, in the <coughs> chat. Oh god. How footy? How footy is the mango? Are you meaning? Um. The actual shape of the mango, as in like a footy, a football. I, I'm asking for clarification, not to be silly, because fresh is in America and different things mean different things. Um, I just want clarification on his comment. Uh, I know um, when some fruits, like naturally, real food, go too ripe, they can go start to get flowery. Do you, you know what I mean, Megan? Yeah. yeah. Um, this is, I would... I, I don't want to eat my words later down the track. I don't want to like, oh, shit, I shouldn't have said that. But I want to say this is a perfectly ripe mango. It hasn't started going too far. It isn't hitting the flowery. Like all the ripe flavors are there. Uh, it's not too ripe. It's not too too young. Like natural sweetness. Do you understand? Do you know what I'm meaning, Megan? Mm, yeah. Does, is that how the taste is coming through for you? Like, it's right on there on that you wouldn't want it any riper type. It's perfect. On on the flesh flavour, on that, in that yellow flesh flavour. Mm, yeah. I'm definitely getting more of like the, yeah, it's like you just bit into a piece of mango. <clears throat> now, See, don't what's forget. What's funny is that I'm not a fan of like the nasty juice range. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh yeah, other other vendors that stock mangoes in New Zealand. Yeah, um, we I, gonna... I, I tried them and it was it was wasn't quite. I don't know. It felt like the balance was a bit off. <clears throat> I'm, I'm redripping. I know that there Just... were like a lot of people that that did like it, like the nasty juice range, which is which is absolutely fine. Um, I'm going to go with no fresh, no feet here. <laughs> My know, nose and palate could be very even... different to yours, though, but no feet here. I, 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 I know what he's doing. He's trying to literally pinpoint which concentrates they're using. And, <laughs> you know, I do it too. Um, now, if you like mango, if you have tried a couple of different types of mango, if, you know, food mango if fresh fruit not added sweetener not sugar sprinkled on top fresh fruit that's been chilled don't forget that polar blast that cool is going to come at you straight away on the inhale then that the mango flavor comes in and you can tell green mango and there on the exhale is that yellow flesh combined in with it and it's like a full mouthful of chilled mango on that exhale um it's a full mouthful for me of of a fresh bowl of fruit. Don't forget the chill though. It's been in the fridge. <laughs> <clears throat> Who the hell froze my mangoes? <laughs> I dig it. I dig it. That for me is on point to its profile. A refreshing taste of the hot tropics. Well, it has hot tropic flavours and it's definitely refreshed on the way in. Um, yeah. I'm going to do it again, Megan. Well done, China. <laughs> <laughs> now, don't forget these flavours we are tasting today are courtesy of HB Vapor. Awesome, awesome people. Michael Brader has been around since they dot of vaping in New Zealand. Well, not quite, but he's been around a long while. They're having their four-year birthery anniversary. The business is four years old mm -hmm. and there is um, exciting sales and things going on on their Facebook page right now and I believe there might even be um, a couple of weekly sales going on on their sale page on the main website. However, all right, we're, we're going to pause now. We're going to pause now. I'm going to throw this competition at you first and then we'll draw the DSR before we go to the last flavour. Um, down, in, down in the description, darlings, is that link I was talking about. Facebook link, blah, 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 big long one, says HB Vapor dash photos, dash a pile of numbers, you know, Facebook link. Um, go and click on it. It will take you to a post on Facebook on the main HB Vapor page. I know it says photos. It has a picture in the post. It's just a post. But it's a competition post. Today, we are not having a competition on the show. We are directing everybody to head on over to Facebook and enter an existing competition in the run right now that is only open for the next three days. Today is Sunday the 6th. Here in New Zealand, this is it competition. A New Zealand only competition, or I actually yes, I believe it is. I just had to think there and what all the messages. I believe it is New Zealand only. So apologies for that, but I know that you guys out there across the globe can actually get hold of these flavors in many, many of your local vape shops around where you may be, because mm. this is a very global brand. Um, <clears throat> So, apologies here, Kiwis, head on over to that Facebook post and get in on the competition. We're not running one on the show. We're sending all you guys to the big birthday competition that they've already got going on. So, like I said, today is Sunday the 6th. This comp closes on the HB main Facebook page, HB Vapor, uh, Wednesday the 9th. So, you've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, three more days. Wednesday the night at, at noon, at lunchtime. So get in now, do it tonight, and then you're in. To, in to win all three of these brand new flavors that we are trying tonight. 
winning pack is exactly what we are telling you all about. So click the link, go and thing the thing. All you have to do to enter now, the reason why instead of running a separate competition over here is because this one's real piss easy to get in on. All you got to do on the post to enter is tell them which flavour you would like to try the most. That's it. That's it. That's your entry. No hashtag, no go like this, no share that. Yep, that is it. Get in on this post, guys. And all you got to do is go, I'd love to try that mango. Or, ooh, the lychee. Or, hmm, tea. Wonder what that's all about. We'll be telling you about that tea in a minute. Um, yeah, so if that little competition, so apologies, fam. You know, not every vendor goes, yeah, I'll give away all the things to everyone all the time. They don't have to. No prizes uh, given out by any obligation. Sorry, there is no obligation to any vendor. Um, so, yeah, we're directing all you guys to a competition they have running right now, all about this launch of these three new flavors combined with their birthday going on. They've got amazing specials and stuff happening at the Mo too, and they stock an amazing range of liquids and hardware. Don't forget that hardware. They are a full-on shop. They are fucking seven shops. Michael's got seven now. So that comp... Like I say, it is open right now. If you want to go and do that right now, you can. Um, you have three more days, or maybe two and a half, you know, it depends how you look at it. Uh, yeah. So you can get in on that competition before they close the competition. Yeah. And because we are not doing the giveaway or anything like that, they will be announcing the winner on their Yeah. On their so Facebook you need page. to get in on that post <clears throat> if you want to be part of the competition to win these three flavors. So head on over and, like I said, in the description below, little HB Vapor section, the bottom link, the last link in that little block down, the, down there is that URL for that post to go and enter the competition so you guys can get in it to win it. Yeah. So, so. Yeah, that's 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 why. See, some of you will be going, I don't spot a hashtag this week. That's why there's no hashtag going on this week because we don't have a conflict. <laughs> We're sending y'all all over there, and which is awesome because it means they they can run their own comp. Yeah, um, they can do all the work. <laughs> they can do all the work. It, it's pretty much what I was thinking. Um, we can just try the flavors and then. So, yes, Wednesday, May the 9th at 12 noon New Zealand time. This is Competition is for the Kiwis, so Wednesday 9th of May, 12 noon, competition closes. So go and do it now. Go and get it on the post now, or at least tonight, after the show, after the show. So on that note, oh, actually, we, we, we're going to do DSR in just a tick. One more holla. This is the last chance. I haven't done a post on Facebook on the I'm Kiwis page because I don't know your name. Hollering at Magnum. Magnum, where are you? You need to message me at Om Kiwis, otherwise I'm going to give your prize away, bro. <laughs> um, oh, was it the, the NZ Vape Fam comp? Mr. Magnum from Auckland, I don't know your real name whatsoever. That is your um, screen name that pops up on the old Google that we see. You were one of our winners for the NZ Vape Fam Juice a couple episodes back now, honey. This is your final call. I haven't done a Facebook post going holler at me because I don't know your name on Facebook, love. You need to come and find me. So hopefully you see this replay. Come and get your prize. Please message me. If I haven't heard from you by next week's show, I will be withdrawing live on the show so everybody sees it okay last holler bro love ya get in contact get in contact it's good juice okay on the note of excellent juice one lucky person is going to get some deep south resistance mix very lucky indeed eh deep south. very very lucky indeed <coughs> just for the simple fact that, um, yeah, one unfortunately had to close his doors since that last show of ours. Yes. That came shock to everybody out of the blue, obviously, when 
life circumstances change, you got to make quick decisions. So Beautiful Warren has agreed to hold true to the prize. You know, the competition was already out there before he made that decision. So one very lucky person is going to be receiving uh, some of the last DSR juice in the country for the moment. We do hope he will be back. Doors open very, 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 very soon. However, for the moment, um, uh, just trying to remember that prize pack was five 30 mil of winner's choice off the line. Uh, got to flip my page here so that I can write the winner down. Uh, DSR comp. Right. Now, of course, that hashtag that we did was light the wick. Quite like that one, Megan. Quite like hmm. that indeed. Ah, <sighs> okay. So, you guys, you guys just want to try a competition? Are you ready? <clears throat> Let's see who's won this. Are you ready? Are you ready? Hang on, I'll, go, I'll load the URL in my random YouTube pickery website. Random YouTube pickery. Hang on. Oh, yeah. By the way, so like entries finished when we went live at the beginning of <laughs> an hour ago. We always forget to say that. <laughs> Hopes do. <clears throat> Hope every still. time, every time, you'd figure that after more than two years of doing this, that we'd remember. <laughs> I know. And Miss Jean, you may have just got your comment in on time. I've just seen that notification. Last, you will be the last comment accepted on this draw. So, um, oh, sorry, distracted by chat. Catching up with y'all. All right, loaded the thing, loaded the thing. And we've got one lucky winner for Deep South Resistance, a five pack of 30 mil winner's choice. You ready for that drum roll, Megan? Yeah. Hit it. And the winner is, oh my God, it's so cool. Shakira, one of our dolls, and she's in town right now. You will love Lisa. Now, this is extra, extra awesome because Shakira is way up in the North Island, way at the top. I have no idea, darling, if you've ever tried Deep South, being that Warren is way down in Invercargill. Um, great line. You will love it. I know that um, she also is a homebody, reclusive at home, lives in a lot of pain and has a lot of health issues with her household as well. So I hope that that is a welcome help for you this week with some juice, my dear. Um, you're very deserving of it. And Shakira recently sent me a package to donate uh, some bits and pieces to our mystery boxes for the 1K giveaway as well. So ah, loves out to you, honey. Congratulations. Please message me at the Om Kiwis page and we will sort out all the details that need to be lost for your price, address, Nick, all the things. Um, oh, of course, go and have a look at the Deep South Resistance website and uh, you are picking five flavours of your choice, my dear. So go have a wee look and then when you message me, throw some flavours at me. Um, yay! Congrats! And I always love it when uh, in chat live to go, oh my God, I won! <laughs> It was me. So extra, extra, extra happy birthday, Shakira, because if I read right um, on the 9th for that competition ending that she was just talking about, it's her birthday this week. So congratulations and happy extra birthday. I think I read that right. Good. <clears throat> much excite. So much excite. <gasps> It's your 40th extra excited. It's a decade party. Whoop, whoop. Oh. <laughs> Sending the party vibes. Yay. That's a cool one for birthday and especially like a cool, a significant birthday. Yay. <laughs> oh, awesome. I'm going to get Warren to put a big love heart on it. On it, on your prize, and send it up to you, and say love from the dolls too. <laughs> that's way cool. Yeah, best birthday present. Congrats! Oh, that's way cool. <laughs> One fuzzy. Okay, hang on. Just better write you down, darling, before I forget. 
She came in one there and it's five times the email. Awesome, darling. Yep, you know the deal. Message me at the page after the show and we will get you all sussed. Yay. Oh, that was a little happy buzz. Yay. It's always extra special when it's when it's somebody de- deserving and then throw a birthday on top. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Max, say go get your washing and we'll still be here. <laughs> yes, it's I'm all right. Sure it's going to take my... you 45 minutes to get your washing in. No, it won't. Uh, mine's coming up too, Shakira. It's all good. Yeah, that's right, Aaron. She's about to hit the naughty 40s. Although, how's that any different than dirty 30s? Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Vince, happy birthday, birthday, darling. Yay, yay for birthdays. Uh, What are we? We're coming into May. We're in May. Where's that transition? Have we gone into Taurus? I think we're heading into Taurus. We just started the uh, Taurian line. whole lot of bulls making their heads known. Don't worry, guys. My dad. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> my dad's so my <laughs> one of my brothers <laughs> a actually shakira it's it's my dad's birthday on thursday he's the 10th so all the balls are partying honey this month yay yeah big thanks to warren i'm glad we made your day you put a big extra smile on mine <laughs> okay all righty all righty so we have done the DSA. I'm going to tell you again at the end about the HB comp. Done those dates. Two flavors down. One to go, Mix. One to go. So, of course, if you're just joining us, we are doing a wee little tasting this evening of the new three flavors from the Liqua brand line, e juice line, um, globally, globally known Liqua, um, courtesy of the awesome Hawks Bay Vapor who have, um, <laughs> oh, yeah, Megs is happily modelling the logos. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden um, I'm going, oh, now I'm just yeah, playing. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I look up and it was like one logo and then it was the other one and I was like, oh, we're modelling all of them. <laughs> yes, I've got um, them both up there. Yeah, so Le Croix is proudly stocked by um, Hawks Bay Vapor, uh, who are one of our Le Croix NZ stockists. I believe that's why we have a cool little NZ flag hanging off the end of the logo because um, we're, we're obviously a New Zealand sector of it. There are several New Zealand vendors that I know of, there may be others that I know of, that stock this brand. Um, I don't know to the extent of how much range each vendor has. I do know HB across the country have a really big range of liqua. I don't know if it's their entire range, being that they've been around for a few years now. But these three new flavors, uh, they're not actually on the website yet. I just realized I'll be messaging Melissa after the show to go, oi, they're not on the website yet. But they are available. So if you message during Facebook, if you go via the website and you want these flavors and they're not there yet, they should be. They're meant to be, (laughs) Um, and I will get that up there as soon as possible. I checked that just before we went live, and these particular three new flavors aren't on the website yet, but they will be. So don't don't stress. But like I say, that comp's going. So um, get on on that. And any of you guys across the globe elsewhere who know a local vape shop or just know a cool website online where you can get Liqua and you want to try these three new flavors, then do so. It's a global brand, and if you can get it close to you and try some out, do so um yeah we're liking them so far so i'm just oh i'm doing all the talking i'm doing all the talking well you are the host <laughs> i know but i feel like am i babbling am i extra talky tonight like what the fuck is even going on <laughs> i speak when i need to <laughs> I thought you were going to say something my mother was saying. Speak when you're spoken to. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, take that back. That's my grandmother. This last flavor. Last flavor. What are we trying? Yeah, okay. Long. So this last flavor, right. All long right. tea. Come on, autofocus. This, this last Please flavor has us both intrigued. 
Maxie, I don't even fold my washing, man. There's a huge pile the size of me that is all clean washing on my floor. Oops. Whereas I'm funny. Like, <laughs> like, like, when I take my like, clothes off the line, I fold as I pull them off. Oh, that's and I just... drop them in, into a basket. But then I've got two yeah. washing baskets. So they kind of rotate. So one gets filled up with clean clothes and the other one with dirty clothes. And then it's like, okay, <laughs> switch it around. <laughs> <laughs> okay now this is going to be interesting because i'm going to have to fill a tiny fill hole right <laughs> what was i just saying about those glass droppers that came out wrong too um i'm going to tell you guys about something new and no this isn't meant to be a side review it's just happening by default so for the last week <laughs> for the last week i've had a little pod device going on i've been rocking a mouth to lung that's why when i picked oh, up my admin so tonight i was like Whoa, real vape this is the u-boat by kangatech yep it looks like a squashed vivid about the same size hang on hold it in front of my face there you go this is fatness oh, it's wow. pretty damn it's pretty damn cool so pod refillable don't know you need to buy no bleh flavor with what amount of nicotine's in that this is refillable so hang on see the little red thing it's a bung plug not a butt plug a bung <laughs> plug <laughs> i was holding a straight face until you think that laughing so this is a refillable pod that you throw away. This, this is a once a week, max 10 day coil. Throw that whole thing away. So your maintenance, aside from buying Aegis, is buying packs of pods. So I'm going to try our last flavor today in a mouth to lung device. Now, what I was just saying about the small fill holes and those glass drippers, <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Let's see how this goes. Right, so I got I got to get juice in the pod before we taste it again. <laughs> so now I'm I'm just giggling now because now all of a sudden I've got the whole this is a bung plug, not a butt plug, <laughs> and now I see that you got Mexi. Mexi saying in chat is like sucking on a pregnancy test. <laughs> I don't know what pregnancy Ooh. tests you but it ain't the same size as one, honey. Uh, I'd rather say I'm sucking on a vivid because, you know, at least they smell good. <laughs> I'm going to stick with the dripper simply because any of, like, my mouth to lung devices are currently at home. Uh, I keep forgetting. Like, I want to bring my eye care in because Sarah's got a um, – a bottle of passion fruit juice <laughs> the juice tastes amazing but it's been nick salted at 40 milligrams so it's not very practical Ooh, for, uh, yeah and so it's not very practical on a dripper it kind of kicks your ass a wee bit <laughs> okay let's see how i go with this i'm literally drop by dropping it I'm not going to fill the whole pot up. I just want to obviously wet the coil enough to have a flavor taste. And because it's refillable, once I vape this juice out, I can put a different flavor in my pod. I've actually really been enjoying this mouth to lung device. Uh, simple USB um, little cap that goes on the end there. There's little metal contacts which it connects with that charges it. Um, it's just a suck device, just like a ciggy, no button. Oh, you guys, get your heads out of the gutter. And uh, you can see that little dimple Maturity there levels. on the front. I know, right? That little dimple there on the front is actually an LED. And you will see when I have a vape very shortly that that lights up white. And then while you're charging it, it's obviously red while it's charging. It goes green when it is charged. So I don't want to fill this up too much. It's so weird. It smells like tea. I just spilled it everywhere. <laughs> Please hold while Mox has technical difficulties live with her e-liquid. 
<laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna wrap my hand in tissue now. <laughs> I'm yes, I did make it moist, Max. Hey, you shush. <laughs> just, just keep. Just Isn't that what? Vapors yeah, I'm about determined to try and this to <laughs> But this is a perfect example of my just my little thoughts on why a glass dropper doesn't work for everybody for every device. Because if I had a little squeezy of any sort of nib nose, that would have wouldn't have been an issue, right? Make sure I put my bung plug back in the hole. <laughs> I'm trying so hard. I'm trying so hard. I think what set me off was your face trying to be serious. <laughs> I know, right? It's like don't burst out laughing while you're saying it. Don't burst out laughing while you're saying it. Okay. Woo! That smell like tea, didn't it? Yeah, it smells like a strong tea. I was getting a whiff while I was just putting it in the pod then, but straight out of the box. And off the scent, I'm not a tea drinker. I'm a coffee drinker. got my coffee right here. But off the scent, that smells, smells like milk tea, not just a black tea. Can you Can you smell the milk? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. I drink both. I'm I'm a tea and a oh. coffee drinker. Um, I like my my tea strong, <clears throat> and I have my tea white. And so I add milk to my tea. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm ignoring mistake. the chat. I made a mistake of reading. <laughs> I'm trying oh. so hard to ignore it, but it's like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Pods on. Woo! Just give me two ticks to just wet my coil. I really didn't put a lot in there. Just give me a little, little get the coil wet. Your face. Oh my Your god. Face. I know. <laughs> <laughs> You still can't do this shit on purpose and these words fall out my mouth off a script or something, but no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. What's our description, Megan? What's her profile? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oolong milk tea. Enjoy this flavour anytime with its delightful, hand-processed green oolong taste with a natural, alluring fragrance. The creamy and silky texture will absolutely make your day. Okay. So, <clears throat> green oolong. So it's alluring to a green tea. Which is really weird because, like, if I was to green have a green tea. tea no, I don't add milk I, to I'll, to I'll have tea. a green tea, but no more milk. Okay. No judgment. We'll, we'll try it. I had judgment over lychee. Look where that got me. <laughs> oh, okay, Maxie. So people who add milk and, 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 and sugar to tea are sinners and should be cleansed. Oh, I, I'll add sugar, but I, I'm not a fan of milk. And <laughs> I have milk all over my cup. That came out real weird. Don't. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> It's Sunday, guys. I think we're broken. Lick <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> <Licked> ourselves. <laughs> I'm getting warm from laughing. <laughs> getting all sweet on us here. <sighs> all right. You ready to hit the tea, girl? I suppose so. <laughs> Let's do it. I thought I hope I put enough in here. I hope it's oh, I hope it's charged enough. Oh god, what a fail. Oh, what the hell? That's a milky green tea. It's so is. <laughs> <laughs> my mind is, is okay. my mind is telling me this shouldn't be happening. <laughs> It's spot on to what it's meant to be. It is a milky green tea. (laughs) 
So I'm getting, oh, gee, he's a hard one to describe. Okay, that's what this one's going to get me, guys. All right. Tea leaf on the exhale. I've got tea leaf on my tongue. Think loose leaf green tea. Think you made a pot of tea with loose leaves. That's the sort of tea I'm vibing rather than a tea bag. Is that the sort of tea you're vibing, Megan? Mm. Like a pot of I made green tea leaf from leaf, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So because, um, I mean, when I said that, it's like, yeah, I go, I, I have tea or coffee. I, Why do I that? Like at a pinch, like yeah, I don't mind like using like the tea bags, but more often than not, I tend to buy the loose leaf um, because I actually have like a little kind of like a tea potty sort of system thing that I use, where I can brew like my tea leaves like in this cup thing, and then I put it on top of my actual teacup, which is just a mug. It's, just, <laughs> it's not an actual purpose built teacup. And it drains out through the bottom into my cup, leaving the tea leaves behind. So it's, I like I like that kind of thing. I mean, I don't care about the extra work that it takes to, to sort of like make tea using the tea leaves. But yeah, it's a much more enjoyable experience. And um, Zula just sit out and chat. I was just scrolling through chat while you're talking there. Zula just sit out and chat. Isn't oolong in the middle? It's halfway between a green and a black. Yeah, um, oolong. I sort of found that it's more black, um, but there is like notes of like green tea like throughout it. It's generally a black tea, or classed as a black tea. Um, yeah, it's it, yeah. It's just really perplexed my mind. You know, <laughs> like, it's like I'm vaping it, and it's like it tastes like as if though I've just had a mouthful of tea, but there's no actual liquid there. <laughs> Okay, I didn't know that about oolong, that, that it was meant to be halfway in between. That actually clarifies what I'm tasting, if that makes sense. Um, so to smell, you smell a milky tea mm. off, the, off the bottle, off, off the coil, out of the pod, however you want to look at that. I'm going to actually try this on a dropper in a sec. <clears throat> um, That chat box. <laughs> okay, so what I'm tasting, yeah, thank you for that clarity there, Zulu. Um, I do hope I'm saying your screen name right. Uh, for me, I'm getting like inhale, light milky hits me first. Then no, no, what I was, I was trying to pinpoint what I was tasting that slight milky hits me just first, just in front of black tea or what I'm likening to black tea that I know. Um, then it like mixes together, another flavor comes in, and that green tea is there mm. on the exhale. Yeah. And that's where I'm getting the, the loose leaf tea vibe on that exhale with the meld of it all together. Did I, how'd I do, Megan? Like, I was mm. really struggling to try and describe what I was actually tasting there. Yeah. yeah, it's it's a blend of the two, um, of like a black tea and, and green tea. Like, I definitely got that. And I totally got what you were talking about in regards to, like, the loose leaf stuff. Um, yeah, it's very, <coughs> it's very surprising. Like, <laughs> it's, it's still okay. perplexing my mind. It, it is perplexing, and I understand your perplexion um because there's no liquid they're following those flavors it's, yeah uh, my my perplexion is on, no that's that's the wrong way that's the wrong way i'm surprised by this i'll just gonna change what i'm completely going to say there i'm surprised by this in a good way this is this yeah. is on point to its profile this is on point to its profile and to be quite honest it probably go really fucking well with coffee. Not just a cup of tea. 
Because then you, you know, how many teas do you want to blow, blend in on your on your taste buds? You know, like really, uh, probably go around. I'm going to try it with some coffee in a sec. Uh, my my thoughts on this are: don't sniff the bottle too much. That sounds so wrong. <laughs> that, that, milky, that milky scent, the milky tea scent, that milky that's there, is far stronger in that scent than it is in the taste. Yeah, You know, you smell the bottle and you go, oh, it's too milky or, or the milk's going to overtake or, you know, you're already having these thoughts going off what you just smell opening that bottle. Don't smell it too much because in my pod, and like I said, I'll try it on dripper in a sec, in my pod, that milk is subtle. It's there. It's definitely a player in the, you know, in the, in the game, but mm. it's subtle. Yeah. And it's just there as an accent, as an undertone, as a... And it's the same, like, like on the dripper. It's the same. It's the same on like, the dripper? Yeah, okay. the, the, the tea, the oolong tea flavour is definitely the the forefront of the flavour. And um, what I also like about it is that it's slightly sweetened. Because I tend to... I'm, 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 yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going I'm to say it, Maxie. Yeah, I sweeten my tea as well. Um, there's only some, there's, there's only like a handful or less than a handful of teas that I will have where I won't add sugar to them at all. Um, I think it's more the, the black teas that I tend to, to sweeten up a bit. Um, like the green teas, the white teas, those ones I will have like no sugar in them. Um, cause you want to taste the tea. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't sweeten it a lot and I, I generally tend to use honey. Yeah, honey and black tea is always good. Yeah. Bushman tea, fabulous. Um, I have a sweetened milky coffee with my oolong milk tea. It doesn't work with chocolate in my coffee. But if that were a normal coffee, I think it could. Yeah. Homemade mocha didn't quite vibe as well as I thought it would, but the thought was there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this on a dripper now. Now, okay, Megan, we yes. were both a little. Oh my god, what's a tea gonna taste like? What are your thoughts on it now? It tastes like a tea. <laughs> it tastes like a cup of tea. <laughs> I don't know if I could ever use it to actually replace a cup of tea. <laughs> But I suppose if you were that type of person that wants to sort of like cut down on your tea intake, it's probably a good substitute. <laughs> yeah, it would be. Same for those people who vape a lot of coffee vapes to drink less physical coffee, you know, like have your morning coffee and maybe your lunchtime coffee and then stop for the day. I am, I'm actually one of those people I've been trying to cut back on my coffee because I would drink it like water. I need to up my actual water. So coffee vapes are really good for that. This could be definitely an option for someone trying to pull back a little bit on the tea intake. Hmm. I don't know that it would give you the same satisfaction that a coffee vape does. Again, my opinion, my palate, satisfaction levels on a coffee vape versus a tea, I'm not a tea drinker. So if you are, this this could be up your alley. Um, like, like we said, all three of these today have been on point. To their profile. Well fucking done, China. I am impressed. And going off thoughts and um, thoughts from others and comments from others over the years about this brand, um, I believe having not tasted any prior e-juice product, I believe this has definitely progressed from wherever they may have been. Hmm. Now, me, and you're the only one who can actually comment on that because you've tried older flavours of theirs. Um, yeah, the, yeah, I mean, like I said, I mean, they weren't quite the what I was after at the time when I did try them. I didn't try a lot. Like, there's only a couple of flavors, but there's only one that really stands out in my mind because I really did not like it. Um, and it was the cola one. <clears throat> <coughs> oh, I'm um, not going to put that over top of Frosty. That won't work. Yep, yep, yep. That won't work. That won't work. Who can I? Hey, look, making an appearance for the first time today is my Limitless Plus that you guys never see. 
these OG, these is plus. Oh, where's my symbol? There it is. Um, on oh, my captain. Just, just sneaking her in here. I'm gonna put the T in here. Put the T on my coil. Just need to vape that off the coil. I had to figure out what it was before I <laughs> nailed. <laughs> it's hilarious that like they're talking about drinking coffee. Like all day, every day. Oh, Mr. I drink Cloudy. coffee. I can have a coffee oh, right before hello, I go. Mr. Cloudy. <laughs> but my kidneys aren't agreeing with the amount of coffee that I drink versus water. Jack's in the chat. Oh, what's up, Mop Head? And hello, darling Jack. How are you doing? Mr. Cloudy, indeed. Haven't seen you in a long time, honey. Um, right, while well, I'm just pissing around with what I'm up to over here, give us your thoughts, Megan. You do some talking. Your thoughts on the whole range today. I have to say I was very impressed. They are definitely what they say they are. <clears throat> um, I think I was probably more surprised by <coughs> the tea, but I was definitely um, impressed with the ice cream mango. Um, that was a really good mango vape. Yeah, I definitely want to get Sarah to try that one and see her get her thoughts on it. But yeah. Yeah, really, really good. Well, the, the three that we've received, I have to admit, I was very nervous. <laughs> but at the same time, it's like I'm kind of glad that we, we tried them. And, yeah. Well done, China. <laughs> I'm, I'm really glad um, it's the first time that I have even truly considered – uh, trying a not New Zealand Australian brand on the show, and the only reason why I effectively did that for for everybody, not just for us to taste something new, um, is because of how globally everywhere this brand is. You know, you can walk into some dairies in some little town uh, in some places. I'm not going to name places because I'm aware of a few, but you know, the dairy, the gas station, that crappy little two dollar shop store in the back of the randomest places where you're like, they sell eaters here? Or like, oh, what have they got? Are they really horrible, bad Chinese flavors off fast tech or something? Um, you know, all of those types of conversations. Le Croix has been on many shelves for many years now. Um, I, yeah, I, I've been vaping nearly four years. They've been around since day one. I mean, so I, I'm not actually sure how long they've been around, but my entire vaping life. Um, so because of how, uh, what's the word I want? The global reach, the how many corners of the world that this little brand has gotten into, um, that's why I wanted to try them because it's seen everywhere. Even if you've never tried it, you still know, hey, I've seen that on the shelf at such and such a shop and didn't wasn't interested because it looked cheap or the bottle didn't grab me or there was no flavors that I like, whatever, you know. Um, but because of its broadness, sorry, excuse me, my nose is just starting to run. Um, because of its broadness across the globe and the places that you can find it, run into it, and obviously they're trying to keep up with the constant vaping industry changes, whether that be e-juice, um, flavors, hardware, you know, constant we know, we know our industry is always moving. There's always something new coming out. So vendors, long-term vendors, sorry, manufacturer even, um, that have been around for so long need to keep on the game, need to keep people interested in their products. So progression of flavors is fucking awesome. And, yeah, from wherever they may have been on their realm of quality and flavors, I'm not sure because I didn't try any prior. But this... This is totally in the realm of vapable, affordable. They're very affordable too. Um, and because of the broadness of their range, and they have quite an extensive tobacco range too, I'm aware of many vapors out there who only vape backy flavors aren't interested in all the food. Um, yeah, because of their extensive range, these flavors definitely slide right on in for a little something for everybody. Um, I'm impressed. Well done, HB. Great launch, awesome new product to add to an existing well-known brand globally. Um, and, yeah, well done, China. You, you blew me away, especially the light sheet. Oh, my God. And a tea. I'm vaping a tea right now. Um, 
Yeah. Well done, China. I'm impressed. <laughs> yes. Really? Yes. Yes. Jeez, you're so full of beans, mother. I'm trying. I know. I'm trying. I always get consent before blowing. Am I asking my mod before I blow it? Sorry, Lex, couldn't help it. Oh, bless. I see you back out there. Are you getting on a plane? <laughs> um, yeah, like I'm – lots of people think far more of my palate than I do. Uh, I, just taste, I just taste things. Uh, you guys are the ones who go, oh, my God, Mox can taste all the things. I don't taste all the things. I just I just taste things. These, China, wow. Yeah, like, I didn't expect the quality we've just faked. The clarity of the layers, the I can pick this layer, this layer, this layer. You know, the recipe's well balanced for those layers to be tasted, be there, and meld together and that, you know, that big swirl of the exhale and you get the whole mouthful on your way out. That's that's why that's where I talk about e juice progression. You know, mm -hmm. not just quality, not just product you're using as your ingredients, but actually listening to your consumers, the vape consumers. Um and I, I'm just making an assumption of feedback and, you know, life that that's what's happened. They've heard comments back, hey, try this or do this. Whatever they've done, they've balanced their recipes more. Um, they've, I believe they've always used, it's, the name's been the same since day one, so I believe they've always used the same concentrates from um, Italy. Uh, but, yeah, the progression in the recipes, the balancing in the recipes is where I specifically want to emphasise when I mean progression and keeping up with what's going on out there. That's what I'm talking about, um, that layering, that balance, that satisfaction that your consumer is experiencing upon tasting your vape product. Um, yes. And on that note, very impressed with China for that exact reason. Hawks Bay Vapor just rolled in, Megan. I don't know. I don't know if it's Michael, if it's Mel, um, but yeah, it went through China. Is that you, Michael? We love them. I don't, well, I'm very impressed. Very well done, China. Um, Le Qua is made in Shenzhen specifically. Um, and if, if that's Michael speaking, um, they went through the facility about two weeks ago in China. So oh. that's really cool. Yay. Um, I hope, I hope you guys will be happy with our thoughts on tonight's flavours. Um, they have surprised us. Mm. I'm, I'm impressed. Um, <clears throat> They're mostly designed in Europe. Oh, okay. So just manufactured, made in China, um, and the recipes designed in Europe. Is that, is that what you're meaning by design? The recipes thought out in Europe. Um, sorry, I'm just conversing with the chat here for clarity. It's Michael. I thought it was you, darling. Um, <laughs> cool. Yeah. No. Uh, Michael, I, I watched the replay. Here are our whole thoughts. That light chain one straight off the bat. That you're gonna have. You're gonna be in fits. <laughs> light chain surprised me the most. Me personally, <clears throat> for my palate, I'm not a light chain food fan. That vape, I would vape it. That vape has impressed me the most. Um, all of these flavors, these recipes, are on point to their profile. So, in regard to the tasting. Like we say, we don't do reviews. In regard to the tasting, we taste the product to compare it to the profile that the vendor has put out for you, the consumer, to know what you're purchasing. In that regard, these liquids are exactly on point to their profile. Um, had clarity tonight, uh, learned something new. Thank you, Zulu. Uh, mm. That oolong is the meld, uh, the mix, the balance uh, of bit of a middle ground between black yeah, and a green it's, tea. It's a mixture between black and green tea. Um, 
And in that, the vape experience off that tea that we just had, hang on, I'll pick the tea up again because I'm too busy talking, so I haven't vaped that off. Um, it is exactly that. It is a beautiful, light, milky, not too sweet. Like there's a touch, maybe half, I'd say half a teaspoon of sugar in your tea there. It's, it's not sweetened harder. It's, mm. And for not, for not a tea drinker, this is an enjoyable vape. And it is a nice balance of that black and that green tea. Um, so that's the three of them. I am, yeah, oh, I'm very focused. Uh, I feel like yeah. I have to go really close just to get it to focus. <laughs> oh, there we go. Holla. Uh, yes, recipes are designed and blended in Europe. And then production goes through China. Ah, oh, cool. So there's the clarity uh, on what we were talking about earlier with the the name and its its location. Um, that's that's not the right word. Nice. Uh, Just clarity. Clarity. Yeah, I totally lost the word I was trying to think of. Um, right. So. Just because Michael's in chat, you've thrown me off my my train of thought now. <laughs> I'm too busy, like I'm looking okay. at what you've got. So so far, we've discussed like the flavors and like yes, they're on point. Um, <clears throat> I suppose like a reminder on 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 the competition that HP Vapor are running. Yeah, I was going to go back there. I think. Yeah, yeah <laughs> you go. You you talk, girl. I haven't done it all. Yes. So in case you haven't like figured it out, HP Vapor are um, having their fourth birthday four years Woo! <laughs> so they're holding like sales and things that um throughout the week as well as running a competition so down in the description will be um links to to everything in regards to hawks bay vapor as well as a link to the post that the competition in regards to these flavors that we've just tried tonight um to get into the draw to win some of those um those bottles it'll be exciting so if you want to get in on that competition just you know jump in on there and yeah it's just a really easy competition it's just tell them what flavor that you're most excited to to try and that's it but also don't forget to like and follow them i mean come on come on you don't just enter a competition and not follow the page <laughs> Uh, you're all good, Michael. Don't worry about that. Uh, it was a perfect opportunity for Megan to talk because I have done most of the talking tonight. Um, but I was just going to recap the comp. Um, it's so good I just got thrown there for a second. He's apologising to me in chat. Um, <laughs> yeah. You're all good, honey. So just for, for clarity she just on... just gets on... flustered easily. Shh. Don't give away my tickle. <laughs> 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 so for, for just for clarity, those links in the description, uh, main web page and the location link as well. So separate page on their main website with all seven of those store locations. And we were actually going to go with, over that. Um, and the main Facebook page is down there. And that competition, that link that I also have in the description under HB Vapor um, down below us uh, is the post for that competition on the main HB paper, vapor page. Well, I'm getting tongue-tied now. Now, the reason I said clarity on that is because there are several HB pages on Facebook for the multiple different shops. So just the plain H, sorry, I keep abbreviating, Hawks Bay Vapor um, main page that is down there, uh, that is where the competition is, on the main drag. And hang on, I've lost my mouse. There it is. Um, so what I wanted to go over with you guys. I'll be right back, Max. Oh, okay. So you carry on. I can just hear a yep. bit of noise out the back of the shop. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. Go check on the shop, hun. Just reminding you guys that Megan's shop is now a closed public. So any noise like that she hears, the shop's actually shut while she's doing the show at the moment. So she needs to investigate. Uh, all good. So where am I? It's... Now, this blew me away. This was great information to learn. Michael, congratulations, honey. I did not realize you were up to seven shops. That is awesome. I knew about four or five of them. Seven's amazing. Now, just to go over those four, you guys, just going to main, main locale them. So we have a Napier store, a Marai Nui store. I'm not exactly sure where that is, Michael. Is that a, a, 
a little town somewhere in the middle of the North Island. So these are the other stores that we didn't quite know about because they're in smaller locations. But um, it's just awesome that there are uh, multiple shops. You're back. You're all good? Yeah. Sweet. Um, just before I move on to what I was – continue with what I was saying, sorry. Do you know where Mirai Nui is? That's where one of the shops is. I'm just going through the locations. Really? So we have, yeah, uh, just repeating it that again, we got main Napier store, that's, that's the main big honcho headquarters, uh, and Mirai Nui store, and Onikawa store, another little smaller town, Hastings store, i uh, got to say this right, Waipukurao store, there's a lot of New Zealand's names, place names are in Māori. So just reminding you guys out there globally, I'm not saying weird words. These are actual places in our country. <laughs> so that was the Waipukurao store. Then we have the Palmy North, Palmerston North and Levin. And yeah, I think that's all seven of them. Yeah, I knew about like four or five. It was the... Uh, yeah, those those three actually. So I knew about four. So the Marae Nui, the Onikawa, and the Waipukuro store are the ones that are new that I learned today or yesterday actually. Um, congrats, Michael! Seven shops. That's amazing. Oh, it's a suburb of Napier. Okay. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just re I was just reading the locales. So even more, well, even having multiple shops in one city, that that multiple shops, full stop. The word is getting out. That's that's what's going on. Yeah, man. They're everywhere. Everywhere. Uh, night, Kenny. Hope you have a good night. Night, David. I'm aware some people are strolling out now because it's very late where they may be. Um, all right. Hey, Nate. How you doing? Didn't see you strolling. All right, okay, so we have done our flaves. We've gone over the comp. We've done the DSR winner. Again, congratulations and happy birthday to Shakira. Amazing win from Deep South Resistance. Uh, get in touch with me after the show, honey. Um, and, of course, all you Kiwis out there, if you want to be in to try some of these new flaves that we have been tasting tonight, then stroll on over to that link that is down in the description for that competition post. Again, only open until noon this Wednesday. So two and a half days, almost three days left. Get in on it. ASAP. ASAP. ASAP is what they're meant to be. Um. So, yeah, I'm like, what have I forgotten? <laughs> I think we've covered um, everything now. I I think we have. I'm 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 actually blown away. I'm really impressed that I would like to eat my words. Is actually what I'm going to say here. I'm going to own this. I would like to eat my words. That Aegis out of China is shit. I just ate that because I just tried these and they ain't shit. <laughs> They're on point profile. They are totally vapable, um, easily go in the rotation. Um, on point to what they say. I, I cannot. Like, I was reading the profiles and I was like, oh, yeah, sort of a bit vague. But no, they're not. They're actually like right there, bang. That polar blast, that the frosty, that polar blast coming through on the lychee and the mango, stronger in the lychee, not as in your face for the mango, although we were expecting at that time. Michael, you've got to so laugh at that reaction. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm impressed and happily <clears throat> to say that I will eat my words that not all e juice out of China whether I've tried it or not, you know, judgment has been made in the past and I know we've all done it. Um, but, yeah, this brand, I've tried it now, on point, totally vapable, mm -hmm. affordable, plenty of flavours for something for everybody, um, great in the mouth to lung, great on a dripper. Um, I haven't got to the tea on my dripper yet because 
I've been too busy talking, but <laughs> I just, yeah, no other words from it. I've been blown away because I wasn't expecting the quality I've received. That, that's pretty much the bottom line. So um, thank you, Michael. Thank you, Mel. Thank you, the whole HB team. Again, happy birthday. Um, this has been, it's been a lovely tasting because we've been taken by surprise by a good product. Um, that, yeah, that right there. You know, yeah, you see a brand, you have assumptions. Until you taste it, eat your words. I have tonight and I'm happy to own it, you know. Um, yeah. It was a good one tonight, don't you think, Megs? Yes. Yes, it was. Sorry. Just I reading I was chat. rather impressed. <laughs> Well, yeah, you you tried them previous to tonight. So, did you? Uh, so, what do I want? Taste progression. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did. But like I said, I mean, it's like I don't have a lot to really compare with. <clears throat> and it was about three years ago when I did try them. So, yeah. Well, albeit a while ago, that's still fine because that right there is a perfect example of progression, isn't it? I just you tried way back in the beginning of your vape life compared to tasting it now, you're going to be tasting things differently as well as noticed when a quality, uh, sorry, a product has stepped up in quality. Um, yes, Michael, everyone in the South Island can try Le Croix at Hooper's in Christchurch. Um, you'll have to watch the replay, hum, but I went over, I went over all of the things at the beginning. Um, there are, yeah, there are several stockets of Le Croix NZ, um, and multiple, uh, and yeah, like I say, I'm not sure if it's the entire juice range, but a good chunk of the range available in, yeah, a couple of different New Zealand vendors around the country. All right, oh, that's what I've been waiting for. I was sort of stalling a little bit. Lastly, as we go out and on, before we do our little final intro, intro, last little bit of information for this evening. Did you mean outro? Outro, intro. I said intro, didn't I? <laughs> Just know what I mean. Right, last little bit of info before the outro. Here we go. Um, hey, Greg, how you doing, honey? You've been lurking. Just seen, just seen Greg pop up in chat. Right. Those of you who are within our New Zealand Facebook groups, those of you who are in Vape NZ specifically. Yeah. Oh, NZ Vape about Fam. No. Oh, Vape, Vape NZ. NZ. Yeah. Okay. I haven't told you about this. Yeah. <laughs> um, tonight, right now, Sunday, 6 p.m., Vendor Bender Hour has just started. Now, for those of you in our New Zealand community, this isn't a new thing to you. We have a hour where the vendors can go mental with ridiculous specials every week for those in our Facebook communities. Tonight, and I'm not sure if it's continuing from tonight, but tonight definitely, we have a special on the NZ Vape Fam juice line that we launched the other week and, um, yeah, have given away prizes of. We've got a special on tonight and it's up in Vape NZ now or in the next five minutes uh, for Vendor Bender Hour. So those of you who want to try some of the NZVF line and are a member of Vape NZ, check out Vendor Bender Hour. Look for Nick, Mr. Elmo out there in chat, Nicholas Elmley. Yeah, I'm throwing your name out there to the wolves, honey. Um, mm -hmm. Look for Nick's post in Vaping Z as one of our VNZ, sorry, as one of our NZVF, getting all tongue-tied now, admin. Uh, he's running that special on Vendor Bender Hour tonight on behalf of all of the admin. So if you guys are keen to try some of that juice from a couple of weeks back, get in on a sale tonight. HB Vapor. Hawks Bay Vapor have sales running, I think, all week or at least for the next few days with the whole birthdayness. There's awesomeness going on. Hours. 24 hours? 
Mm-hmm. Wasn't that competition posted like two days ago? Anyway, there's specials going on. There's there's different posts, different specials. Check the website, check the Facebook page. Birthday is happening. That competition we told you about to try some of tonight's juices, that link for that post specifically is down in the description. If you are in Christchurch and you wanted to go and try some Le Croix flavors, they are available at Hooper's. I'm not sure where else in Christchurch, but like I said earlier in the show, there are several New Zealand uh, stockists across the country. I'm just not sure exactly how many. Um, thank you again to HB for providing this these awesome flavors to try tonight. And wow, you made me eat my words. We've given you guys <laughs> an objective and big thumbs up at China and uh, the progression on this brand and the flavors from, from word go, from, you know, and still going. So on that note, Megs, what would you like to say to the people? Thank you so much for joining us today on, well, tonight. Um, Whoa, I'm, I'm tripping. I'm tripping up my words. <clears throat> okay. Um, oh, good grief. Uh, yes, it, it was a very, very good show. Um, I was very surprised, much like Mox was, in regards to like the flavours. They were definitely on point. Um, yeah, if you want to follow either myself or Mox, our links have been scrolling across the bottom of the screen as well as they're in the description. Other than that, it's like, oh, what else is there to say? We're good to each other. Vaping a cup of tea, man. I know. <laughs> That's what else there is to say. Uh, actually, um, Mr. Elmo out there in chat just clarified the special on the NZ Vape Fam juice, albeit Vendor Bender Hour is to advertise the special. The actual special itself is running for 24 hours at the All right at the prices that he has. So, yeah, just for clarity there. Um, so the special on NZ Vape Fam Juice is running for 24 hours, but to hear about the special, rock on over to Vape NZ Fender Bender Hour to see the post and any details. Yes. All right. And on, on that note, congratulations and happy birthday again, again, to Miss Shakira. That's a wonderful one. You're going to love them. Deep South Resistance. Um uh, yeah, going to hook you up good, being one of the last prizes of their juice for the next little wee while. So, mm. uh, yeah, I, I feel big loves for you there, Shakira. That's, that's an awesome prize, especially to win for you the week of your 40th, my dear. And, yeah, I have wowed and amazed and impressed and bloody wowed all of the juices tonight. Um yeah, I, I can't stress enough how actually on point to those profiles they were. They are exactly what you're expecting. Uh, not overly sweet, strong, they're bold flavours. Mm. Um, you know, you can vape them at high wattages and still be fully flavoursome. Uh, and, again, coming through perfectly fine on a little mouth to lung. So we've, we've tried the range of devices tonight. Um, and, yeah, they're winners. They're winners. I'm, I keep looking at the bottles. Who's the winner? Anyway, guys, love you all. I have no idea what's happening next week, so you better tune in and find out, and uh, we'll figure it out with you. <laughs> we'll just roll along with you guys. So hang out uh, if you want to have a wee Zoom after party. I'll throw the link out in chat very shortly. And, of course, don't forget to research your info so that you are informing yourself so that you can educate others and advocate truthfully. Love you guys. We're going to go out on some clouds and um, we'll see you next week. All right. Now it's silliness time. Not that today's episode has been terribly mature. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. I can't believe that reaction from both of us on the live chat. Like, synchronised. <laughs> yes. That was hilarious. Not a bad reaction. Like, light chat blew me away in a good way.
to hit Polar Blast nearly threw us across the room. Hot damn! <laughs> Oh, they were a bit snow, snowballing. Oh, don't forget Christchurch Vape Day is coming up, fam. 19th of May, Christchurch, 12 Hereford Street, 12 noon till 10 p.m., free entry. The Om Kiwi's last event that we will be emceeing as life has changed for us. The show will continue for now, though. Um, yeah, if you're in Christchurch or near it and going to be around Christchurch on, on the day or near the day, come see us, come hang, come do some pumps. Come win a spot prize, buy some amazing specials from some vendors. Christchurch Vape Day is going to be fab and Meg's and I's last hurrah in person doing the NC vibe. So, um, yeah, be cool for you yes. come along. Hang with us, eh? Come over vape. Go on. Come over vape. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it would be good. <clears throat> Had to be like the last hurrah. <laughs> the last hurrah, darling. Yeah, All it's right. a bit difficult trying to get to the vape days now. I work now. <laughs> and I'm just a lot more ill now than I was last year. I'm just snowballing today. I'm just giving cloud of snowball. I'm sure you guys are enjoying the um, O face though. Here, here, here. <laughs> Got the camera. Yeah. All right. Love you guys. We'll see you next week. Bye.